everyone my name is Nicola and I am simply a stitcher welcome back to my channel um, if you're new around here welcome and this is uh, my latest frost tube video we are on frost tube number 18 and it's been two weeks since I last did a stitching update for you all so I'm pleased to say that in this video you will find me much more organized than the last one and uh, today I am going to be talking about five projects that I've been working on since the last frost tube update that I did okay so um, I'm not going to hang about because I'm on lunch break from work I'm just going to literally get straight into the stitching and with update <coughs> with the update okay so for the last two weeks I have worked on five projects the first one is my heaven and earth design um the new project that i started about four or five weeks ago now and this is envy so there's the mock-up so this is heaven and earth design artwork by marta darling and it's one in a series of seven and you'll know i've already completed avarice this is number two this is envy and as it stands today here is how this piece is now looking oh gosh fabric wrangling not the best start is it <laughs> so there we go so we've got um you know a good portion of the top left done and we can see just there some of the ivy leaves coming through in the circular sort of fins as it were so this is stitched on 25 count Lugana, one over one full cross. And last month we were at 3.8% and this month we are up to 4.96% and I spent three full days, not last month, last fortnight, and I spent three full days working on her. So that's the first one. So the second piece I worked on was one of my uh, Middle Earth travel poster series. Again, this is one of 10, I think it's 10. And it is by uh, Country Magic Cross Stitch, I think, I think. Um, I've already completed one, this is the second one. So this one is the map of the image of Minas Tirith. Welcome to Minas Tirith. And I've worked on this this month for again three days. And last month we were at 15.54% and this month as you can see we've got a bit of progress in excuse it's all wrinkled We've got a bit of progress in on it. Can't work out which side to look at the camera, and you can see the white, uh, the this white city's coming in the mountains there in the background, and this is now up to twenty eight point eight five percent. And I worked on it as I said three days. This is on eighteen count Ada, and it's stitched two over one, full cross. So that's that one. that back in its bag okay so the third one that I touched this month was my stitching jewels designs piece the one that I did my stitch with me on and this one oh, do you know more fingers and thumbs today I keep pressing the wrong thing on this tablet uh, Okay, a few more cup, that's better. So this is Polar Bear and Cub uh, by Stitching Jewels Designs. Lovely little piece. Did my stitch with me on it. Still pulling through lots of white, but I'm assured that it does get easier. Um, having said that, I don't mind. Um, I'm just kind of working a strand of white after a strand of colour, and it's working for me. So last fortnight, I keep saying month, and I don't mean month, I do mean fortnight. Last fortnight we were on 
9.24%. I've spent two days working on this, which included the stitch with me. And as you can see, we got a little bit further along. We are now at 15.97%. So this is the top left of the piece. And as you can see, the, the colours are coming in much more in this area now. So I'm expecting to see some, some polar bear um, very shortly. So I can't decide which is the best side to look around my work at, but there we go. So that's that one. So the next one I have been working on, I only put in one day on this piece. And it's my, oh, um, Polar Bear and Cub is again 18 count Ada, two over one, full cross. So the next one is this little beauty. It is my L is for Lamb, the Gecko Gem. Um, by the artwork is Miss Cherry Martini and it's just kitted by Gecko Rouge uh, last month last month last fortnight I'll get used to this I really will last fortnight we were on 39.15% and today I am at 48.19% and I have worked on the lamb's face so as you can see you know pretty much all of the face is in now and the ears are coming in as well so it's still on the frame because I've been working on this today so yeah it's a lovely little piece proper enjoying it um, just got to finish off the head then the rest of the body the back hooves and its tail and this one is done it's not an enormous piece so this one is likely going to be the next piece that I finish and this is worked on 25 count, easy count, one over one, full cross. So, the next thing I have got, because every day is good for one, is a new start. Um, one of my Instagram friends, a lady on Instagram by the name of Petra. Hi Petra, I know you're watching. Um, a lady who lives in Czechoslovakia. She sent me a message on Instagram and said, did you know about this stitch along? <clears throat> I did touch on this in my floss tube because I was busy kitting this up uh, last week. Um, and I said, no. And she said, well, I'd love to, you know, send you the chart, you know, RAK you the chart. And I'm like, of course, I'm not going to say no. I mean, it's, it's stitching, it's, you know. And I've never, ever done an Amy Stewart piece. Um, so she sent me this uh, RAK and it is this piece which i'm sure most of you who are amy stewart fans will be familiar with it is a stitching shelf and this one is the regular size but the max color version uh, because i figured you know um it's a lovely piece and i want to put as much sort of color detail in as i possibly can um so last week i was kitting busy kitting it up and it's just going to Take it off the frame so I can show you all. I was busy kitting it up and then Friday was World Cross Stitching Day. So what better day to have a new start. This piece is also earmarked for my next stitch with me. And it is a total stitch count of 375,550 stitches. And I am at 0.93% complete. And I didn't write down how many days I spent, but I think it was either three or four um, on this piece over the last couple of weeks. So as you can see there, we've got you know, the top corner, the little blossoms coming through, and there's a lantern there in the blue in the middle. And I've decided to work this piece now with Envy, I'm doing it sort of columns downwards. But what I've decided with this one is work each 10 by 10 across and because i work the whole piece of thread in just work sort of underneath work that thread in where possible it's not always possible because there's some that are just not you know used an awful lot uh, so i'm going to go across the top and then i'm going to work down a 10 by 10 row at a time but yeah 
proper love in this one. Um, as I said, I mean, it is part of a stitch along. There's a Facebook group for it. So let me just find it because I'm terribly prepared. The Facebook group is called A Stitching Shelf SAL. And um, I asked in there if there was an Instagram hashtag. And I've been using a hashtag of A Stitching Shelf SAL. Um, so if you are uh, on my Instagram and you've seen this this post, then you will have, of course have seen uh, that um, hashtag. So yeah, so that's all my stitching, which is you know I mean five projects in two weeks is not so bad. Um, I've got Ellis for lamb out at the moment. I do want to go back to. I want to try and sort of rotate and get as many pieces in as possible over the fortnight, but it's not always possible. But I figure I try and do at least two days before I switch a piece out and choose another piece, which is what I've been doing, to be fair, so that each piece does get a touch. Um, I've got, how many works in progress have I got? So I've got five here, plus Pandemic, plus The Realm of Middle-earth, plus The Mary Princess, Plus the Christmas window. So I've actually got nine works in progress at the moment, which is the most I've ever had. Um, so I'm going to try and, you know, reduce those if I can. And really genuinely, you know, I don't want any more new starts right now. If I have any more, um, well, I'm going to run out of boxes for a start, you know, to put the kits in. Um, so, yeah, no more new starts uh, until at least something, if not two pieces are finished. Um the little lamb's not going to take an awful lot of time. Minas Tirith and um, Polar Bear and Cub are not going to take an awful lot of time either. It's just a case of getting stuck in with them. But I don't like to leave the big projects uh, too long. Because I've thoroughly enjoyed stitching on Envy. And I've had a couple of weeks, a couple of days, sorry, stitching on a stitching shelf. which has been nice. The only difficulty that we've had is here in the UK, we've had another bit of a heat wave. Um, and this is my sort of sitting room and over there is my window so I sit underneath the window and I sort of got natural light coming in at the back of me but because it's so warm and I'm south facing of course I've got the sun in it all day so I've got to close the curtains so that I don't burn <laughs> so that you know the house doesn't heat up to you know ridiculous levels so I've had to have the curtains closed, which has kind of had an impact because I don't also want to be putting my daylight bulb on, put that on, it makes me hot. So it's been a bit harder to stitch in the daytime. So the early morning, um, you know, stitching sessions have been quite valuable uh, these last sort of few days. I think we're on our way out of the heat wave now, which is, which is good, but I did hear whispers that we may be having another, who knows. So, plans for the next couple of weeks up until my next floss tube. Um, I am off out filming with Andy on Saturday for Village Idiot. Um, I've, I've got a day in the office tomorrow for work. Um, my stitch, stitch with me next week, as I said, will feature a stitching shelf. Other than that, I can't, I haven't really planned anything in terms of what I'm stitching. Um, because I'm just literally working on Ellis for Lamb at the moment because I'm, I'm stuck into that right now. So it'll probably be switched out tomorrow for, I'm going to say probably Envy because I've not had that on the frame for a couple of weeks. And I'll just work from there. So yeah, that's it. So what I'll do on Tuesday when we do do the stitch with me, I'll show you what my threads look like and how I store them and then we'll work on the stitch with me and uh, and get some stitchy time in on that so that's it so it'll be two weeks for another floss tube but next week there will be a stitch with me i'm kind of been thinking as well about having another stitch with me in on the week as well if i can but one with with music so i've got one with conversation and one without um and also i had a, a suggestion about you know because stitch with me is about an hour long and there's only so much i can 
I can infill with conversation. So if you've got any sort of suggestions to me, any tags or anything like that, you know, um, you know, just pop them in the comments below um, because it'll, it'll obviously help with the stitch with me. Um, I don't like to sort of sit there just stitching away with a bit of dead air. Um, I don't do it in my job, so I wish I'd do it in a stitch with me. You know, but I can't sort of think of, it's not like having a conversation with an actual person and we're responding to you when you're talking to a camera it's kind of a bit difficult to uh, to come up with the goods as it were but yeah other than that so that's all there is from me um it's just now a case of i'm gonna get some lunch i'm gonna put my stitching away have a little bit of time on alice for lamb and then back to work this afternoon so i will see you all on my stitch with me on tuesday um and just before I go, I have noticed again, I've had another little jump in subscribers. So if you are new around here and you have subscribed, thank you very much indeed for that. Check out my Instagram as well. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. And bye for now.